I'm Paul Taylor uh, with Paul Taylor OCNP Garden Design and Consultation and I've been in private practice for 17 years. Plants are really important to me and that they help bring people to nature. I always like to try and choose plant material that will live in a garden for a long, long time. So it's not just about having a Street of Dreams kind of, you know, instant gar garden that is really, you know, show-stopping for a year, but it needs to be in a garden and plants that can evolve over time. You want to be able to tell a kind of a thematic story when you're putting things together for people. If uh, folks don't, uh, have anything going on on the side yards and things. I'll try to see what we can do to make something happen. It's a lot of the plants along that trail are natives. So I wanted people to get that feeling like when they're coming around from the front yard to the side yard and coming to the back, that they are gonna be embraced by a forest kind of experience. Looking at how the um, need for structure in this small, small garden and trying to divide up the spaces and make them intimate but yet allow enough of a group uh, kind of place um, that was really important, but also have it be where if they had 30 or 40 people in this garden, that there'd be enough spaces around that they could use it. When I first came to the garden, uh, the uh, hand railing was um, a heavier wood and it really was almost a barrier to the green space. I suggested that we'd have the cabling and do the metal uh, handrails and things and it really opened up the green space and made um, this garden feel like it's a much, much bigger and complex garden. I wanted there to be a, a much better connection to the garden and so we put in a steel spiral staircase. Um, it's a really beautiful um, sculptural element and that, that's something I'm really proud of. Uh, also, uh, the flagstone and the use of boulders in the garden. There's seating boulders where you can come and just go over and sit on them if you wanted to. And this is uh, a garden for young people. There's children at this house and uh, they're going to be wanting to dance around on the boulders and things and it's just fun. Many people are really, really busy family people. They have jobs that take them away from their family and the garden needs to be a place where they can come together and just be. And so it's nice to be able to provide a garden that is on automatic for folks, that it changes with the seasons. They're not, um, say, a slave to their garden, but they get to just enjoy it. And yes, they'll need to take care of it. They'll need to manicure some things every once in a while. But it's not like um, they have to be out here every weekend doing tons and tons of cleanup or anything. I think the garden really works well with a busy family.